Ascension, Aquarius I am. We in the Aquarius age for the next 2,000 years, you dig? Swing low, time to move on. Light years and time ahead of our time. I want to free your mind by helping you understand the zodiac signs. That's right, you're live with Aquaman in the zodiac zone where the cosmos is your home. I'm your very own Ampu, the real urban guru coming through on the mother shit. So let's open up your cosmic memory bank and swing down to earth where the shit stains. So we definitely live, man. We got a few people on here, man. So where we gonna get started at, man? Man. Um, first of all, peace to the family, everybody out there in uh, YouTube land, because this is where this video definitely is going to land itself. Um, but uh, I don't know, man. We're here to talk about this um, this latest Triple X video, sad, <laughs> and yeah. um, you know, R.I.P. To the young man, Triple X. Um, you know, he just had his uh, service. Man, it was like, whew, man, thousands of people. Man, that thing was like, like up the block three times. And um, you know, he definitely had a, a impact on a, um, a large portion of the youth population. Man. Um, so it, it, it definitely cannot be ignored. Um, but I think um, today we just want to cover, um, you know, some people will call it the spiritual side. I guess we could use that word. Um, but it's a lot more science to it than what people may understand when you hear the word spirituality, but I get it for all intents and purposes. Um, when we say spirituality is just something that we can't see. We, we, we tend to you know, like, you know, we can't see it. It's not objective. And so the word spiritual kind of, um, is in the, is the appropriate word that we use, um, in our, in our language to describe the invisible, the unseen, cause of things that happen in the physical or as what quantum physics would call on the particle side of the reality versus the wave side of the reality. So um, I think we should, you know, cover down on that topic in relationship to not only Triple X's latest video, but multiple artists that have also done the same thing um and have met their demise because of it um and so this is why this becomes very important you know we hear all the time how art and life mimic each other mm -hmm. that's just that's just not a popular we should just not write that off as like a popular cliche right you know what i mean um what it is is the beer is that a large section, and I mean a very large section of humanity, hasn't come to the realization yet of the impact of imagery and emotion. Mm. They they haven't they they haven't figured it out. So I was talking to some young ladies yesterday about the triple uh, X video. And I was like showing some of the pictures, um, the, the picture from the video and all they could do, they just, they just shook their head and, they, and, and I, you always get the same response is damn, that's, that's, that's scary. Right. That's, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so, that's the pulse. That's the baseline of 99.9% of people in the world who, when they see that, that's going to be their initial response. And then they'll, they'll say something like, um, 
he was a he prophesized his own death or, you know, his own demise. Mm -hmm. And so we can see that somewhere in the psyche of man, when we see stuff like that, the first thing that we say is this is weird. This is strange. Uh, It's spooky. Like, I don't that's kind of like overboard. But then as we settle back into our reason and our logic, we know somewhere in our mind we should correlate it to some biblical, Quranic, uh, uh, you know, Hindu type of vibe and say something along the lines of it was prophetic. It was prophecy. So then we start to find what happened in the situation. We start to try to make a connection to something, quote unquote, spiritual. Which tells me that somewhere in our programming, we know that it has something to do with something invisible. Right. So. um, I think I think this young man. Um, was was sending a signal. And listen, I want to make this clear because there's been a lot of commentary. I saw the Joe Budden podcast, Ebro and um, Rosenberg. It's been a lot of back and forth <clears throat> between those two camps in, in regards to Triple X and his affairs in the world. You know, the allegations of what he did to his, uh, I think her, she was pregnant at the time. Uh, his girlfriend, it was some very heinous acts that were alleged that this young man did. And so I'm just dealing with the the science of mm-hmm. what's transpiring here. I'm not touching on any of that. If you want that commentary, people, you know, it's everywhere on the Internet. People having conversations about that everywhere about this young man and the life that he lived in regards to those situations. So Minister Jew, priesthood. Unless Ampu gonna touch on it, which I highly doubt. That's not what we're here for. We're here to disseminate this wisdom um, so that you can use it to better your condition. But when these type of situations happen, it becomes a really good teaching tool to show you what not to do. Or to show you the other side of the equation and still be able to apply the same principles, but to use it to better your life. And so that's what we do. Five million in testimonials, healing testimonials of all sorts, spontaneous gifts showing up out of the nowhere. We actually live it. We apply it. We teach people how to apply it. All right. And we have some of the most amazing success stories that you're going to find anywhere utilizing what we call spiritual information. And we counsel people, we coach people, right? So uh, we have services for what we're talking about. You know what I mean? If you're interested, right? And learning how to use this information to take your career to the next level, right? It's all about the application. But um, yeah, man, I want to play something. Hold on, Noble. Mm -hmm. I want to play something right quick. See if they can hear this. Thing that heaven it is. I was splurging on trees. But when I get my car back activated, I'm back to Vegas. Cause I always had a passion for right? flashing. Before I had it, I closed my eyes and imagined the good life. Right? 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 Oh. Right. right. So y'all know who that is. That's Mr. West from the graduation album, The Good Life Joint, um, featuring T Pain. And he says, I always had a passion for flashing. Before I had it, I closed my eyes and imagined the good life. Right. And that's the baseline for how this mentalism works. You know, we get 
we we grow up, we become adults, we get responsibilities, we have children, bills, etc. And when you hear the word imagination, you write it off as this, uh, mm-hmm. you know, some kiddie stuff when you were, you know, eight, nine, five. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, oh, man, you, y'all talking about liberating people with imagination, brother. Right, no? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Y'all talking about liberating people? Y'all some space cadets. That's ain't that's what somebody said on one of them videos. Yeah, somebody called us space cadets. Right? Right? We space cadets. Y'all ain't black power. Y'all ain't black liberation. I'ma tell you something, Noble. They lucky we chose to go to Jupiter's side of this thing. You know that? Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. They lucky, man. Mm-hmm. And they lucky. The, the skin is is thick because boy, <clears throat> it would be some problems. But anyways, um, so let's touch on it, man. Did you get a chance to check the video, Debir? Yeah, check I checked it? the video <clears throat> for sure. I checked the video. Sad. Um, and again, the premise is brother XXX Extension. Um, you know, has this you know prophetic video where you know he's visiting himself coming to his own funeral and whatnot now this is a parallel to you know biggie smalls what ready to die and then life after death type of shit you know what i'm saying where uh tupac i ain't mad at you and he in heaven and he just got smoked you know what i'm saying and yours machiavelli and he on the cross and it's the seven day theory where he know he's being crucified right and so you know, um, one of the later interviews, um, most recent interviews with Snoop, I think he was on, hmm, seemed like, was he on the Breakfast Club? He that was, was the somewhere. Breakfast Club. That was, was the Breakfast yeah, Club. it was a Breakfast Club. And, you know, he's talking about how he started questioning, you know, he write a song, Murder Was the Case That They Gave Me or something. Then next thing you know, he's, he's standing trial for murder. And it was like, if my pen was creating it, and that's very true. Because as you play, play Kanye West, um, you know, that quick track, everything starts in the realm of of an idea and it all starts in the realm of mentalism. It has to. Thought is the effect from the cause, which is the thought. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Action is the effect from cause, which is thought. And so therefore, all things are thought manifest. All actions is by the result of a certain thought. Real simple. Right. And so when you are uh, no matter what you're doing with people have to understand which the which the left brain scientists don't like to emit. But that thing called the observer effect does indeed have something to do with what you watch. The only thing you have to do is check the posts inside of what I call culture. So what we're saying is, in one sense, science says, listen, if you observe something, you can make uh, you, you can you can make something happen just by watching it. Literally, we're not going to get into wave function collapse and all that. But if you observe something, the mere fact that you're looking you can create a phenomenon, right? And then Neil tries to clean it up and like, well, it's the fact that you're putting distance to it. It's not the observer. I don't give a damn what you're doing. The mere fact that you are looking, you are creating a phenomenon. You know what the test is? Let somebody be looking at you and you will be like, yo, what the fuck is this nigga looking at? Ain't that what we say? Uh It's, It's as if you can feel the energy of a look and you can because different looks carry different vibratory uh, frequencies based. You know, if it's a sexy look, you know, if it's a seductive look, you know, if it's an angry look, the only thing you got to do is just pay attention to the energy of their face. So looks is very real. So therefore when you have an Islamic culture, the Hebrew culture, the Egyptian culture, they start getting into this thing called the all seeing eye. 
and later becomes the eye of Fatima, the, the eye that repels negativity. OK, so you see it heavily in the uh, Jewish culture. You see it heavy inside of the Islamic culture, the eye of Fatima and whatnot. So it's the evil eye. And so then you see people with these blue pendants with this eyeball and whatnot. And it said, OK, this eye is just an amulet. It's a little charm that lets me know that in, you know, but specifically for myself, that I'm under the perception that your your hating ass looks is going to be absorbed by my amulet and not come into my auric field. This is the whole purpose of these particular metals. The whole purpose of these 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 amulets, but your consciousness have to be online where you're purposely directing that incoming current. The metal don't do it by itself. Your mind facilitates this whole thing. Very important to understand that. So speed it up when you understand that looking at something creates some type of effect. OK, then you can not be biggie and say ready to die life after death you can't do the tupac and you can't do the xx extension shit you cannot be going to your own funeral you can if you want to but surely i promise you you by the people looking and maybe maybe if you're new to us maybe i'll go back in that bag because i was visiting some old information that minister you kind of alluded to last night and i'm looking at this particular powerpoint presentation and i'm like whoa boy i'm telling you we got some shit that'll blow your mind based upon us consciously looking at something or projecting an image out there for people to look at and then literally an external event will come and mirror exactly what it was that you were projecting out there so we like to use hip-hop references whether it be snoop in his you know he said it out of his own mouth as, as if the pen was creating it because all these people are listening to it all these people words create an image so all these people then start to did don't don't do a video then it's really on and popping because now it, that is the image so all these people are looking at this image and they are experiencing the image as if it is real because the mind the body does not know what is the difference between what's real and what's not you want to put on some uh 3d virtual reality glasses and you see people screaming and doing all these things you can imagine something right now imagine the best sexual experience that you ever had in your life let me go there and then it's gonna be like woohoo bam let's go baby the body starts to respond to what you're thinking to what you're seeing okay as if it's real so when you're doing these with you know you're doing these alternate realities videos and whatnot people can observe this reality man and, and here's the killer part jew sometimes it'll materialize before the masses even see it the mere fact that you did it and the people that's with you got enough energy in creating it will make the event magnetized because later it will come out the the, the you got to really understand this that's why i'm going into this retroactive shit Later, the event would be observed by millions of people, and thus the current situation of him losing his life would mirror what he produced because people were going to view it. Now, I'm telling you, when you start to scale back and you look at, let's look at Left Eye for a minute. When, when Left Eye was in Honduras, rest in peace, Left Eye, she was on a spiritual journey. It's like, this is a freaking, this is a case that you really need to study. Because she's there and she's in her number thing and she's like, man, it's like whatever you fear, it comes to life, man. It's, she's strictly 100 percent on a spiritual journey. Ain't no if, ands and buts about it. She's skinny dipping in the pool. She's on this place of liberation for her soul. OK, now, while she's there, she's driving the car. Now, I don't know if she was particularly driving, I think, but the car she was in struck and killed a little boy whose last name was Lopez, okay? Left eye end up paying for the whole funeral. Killed the little boy, okay, in the car, Lopez. And then next thing you know, some days later, she dies in a car crash, and obviously her name is Lopez, okay? See, it's shit like that that you need to understand the invisible mechanics of thought 
the invisible and this ain't invisible when it manifests you need to understand the mechanics of coincidences signs symbols you have to get to this particular point so the brother xxx extension aquarius typical we in the Aquarian age. So the video has a lot, a lot of jewels in it. Let me pull up some slides. I had to take some screenshots of some, of some stuff. A lot, a lot of jewels in it. And the first one I'm looking at is, you know, the words on the screen in the casket is like, if you are watching, you are subjected to a segmented piece of my creative aura and wishes. This nigga's on science. He said, if you're watching this video, you are now subjected to a segmented piece of my creative aura and wishes. So now you're participating in his death. And, and, and Noble, and, and, and we have to say this because I say this, my members know this intrinsically. But for y'all that's new to this type of dialogue, what he's saying is this. If you do not have your own programs running, okay, you, if you don't have your own programs running, if you're not conscientious of how you're planning your day, planning your week, planning your month, planning your year, you will be subject to somebody else's screen right. Right. You, you will. That's I right. call this what That's they call right. extras That's right. in movies. You know how you watch the movies, and it's not Trinity, and it's not Neo, yeah. and it's not Morpheus. It's just the people walking down the street. The stunt double. This, this is <laughs> right. You become that entity. They pull you into their magnetic field. Right. Right. And now all of a sudden you're playing a part that's been dictated by somebody who has a strong, stronger magnetic presence with a stronger will. With a stronger goal. Mm -hmm. So he told you, if you're watching this, you have my. now just been sucked into my magnetic field. That's right. My wishes and my aura. And That's right. So go ahead, Noble. Continue you know, with, with, so, with that uh, So my other slide, man. Um, you know, is you will spread love throughout the world, praise and joy unto my name, and change the overall cycle of energy we are digesting. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something. All right. Now you know, I posted this the other day. June 26, you, you're dealing with somebody. This culture is different. These teenagers is different. And it's like, man, these niggas is weird. Half his hair is blonde. Little Yachty is a straight weirdo. You got the rainbow kids now, with, whether it's Lil Pump or whether it's uh, my man um, Takashi 69 Y'all don't understand what's happening. Don't forget Trippy Red. Trippy Red. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand what's happening. See, the precursor already came in the earlier culture. We were talking about I got them rainbow colors in my cup. You feel me? And so, see, music is always going to be the highest expression of the spiritual tone of what the creator is coming through. But a lot of people just don't consciously know what it is overall. But anyway, um, so this love energy he's talking about that we have to get to. And maybe I hit on that a little later and whatnot. So another note that I got is this is the key. It is your memories that holds you to the person that you were. Ooh. Yes. They put Ooh. that in there. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. They put that in there. And they put that Ooh. in there. And I know you're going to come back on that. Ooh. So it is your memories that hold you hostage. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Man, I ain't never lied. It, it ain't never lied. I ain't, ain't going to even get into that, man. He ain't never lied, man. Um, Another clip that we got is um, the overall goal of his death, man, in this movie was you got to come into and this said it. You can come to the certain amount of light that you must become. And it also said that your demons 
What do you say? Your demon seems to to honor your effort, which means when you start on this particular path, Ooh. light and love, Ooh. your demons in the Ooh. form of memories is going to come up to the surface and test you like you've never been tested before. Okay. It goes it goes by the personification in scripture by the name of Amalek. That's right. When you see when you really start to peel back the layers in these holy books and you realize that they're just dramas talking about states of consciousness and awareness and you grow and develop the skill set to be able to reread it and extract the juice out of it and what are they trying to relate to you in the first person singular mm -hmm. instead of thinking that it's secular history and that's not a knock to anybody who's still there at that phase fine right Amalek let me tell you should I tell the story what Amalek did to elucidate what you just said to be listen yeah, yeah. that nigga do it Joshua Moses Aaron and another state of consciousness called here, which translates to like a cell, a holding place, a cell. They were down in the wilderness. They had just been set free. They just escaped the quote unquote, the, the Egyptian kings, right? So now they down here lobbying, politicking in the wilderness, right? Trying to establish the covenant with their God. And then all of a sudden, this state of consciousness called Amalek comes out of his comfortable tent way somewhere off yonder and decides to come all the way down into the wilderness to pick a fight with Joshua, which is the Old Testament version of Yahshua or Jesus, right? right. Mm -hmm. So... They're trying to tell what are they what are they trying to convey? When you start to enter into your solemn place, an inner reflection of the light that exists within you, right? And you start to cultivate that principle inwardly, and the subjective state starts to become your cause instead of the objective world that we attribute and ex give ourselves excuse after excuse to. There's a part of your consciousness that creeps up and challenges you. Mm -hmm. It's going to challenge you to see, are you really ready to rumble? That's right. You ready? You, you think you're ready to break free from accepting these five senses as your master? Okay, we, we about to find out. And so in that video... That's what they were talking about. Your demon seems to be pleased with your effort, i.e., oh, if you're the son of God, why don't you jump from off the cliff? They, they said that the angels will keep you in all of your ways. Mm -hmm. Get behind me, Satan. Right. So these are just stories and parables to show you what happens. You are start, you you're met with opposition inwardly. Yeah. But it appears as circumstances and situations externally. You, you start beefing with your wife. You start beefing with your husband. Shit starts happening on the job. You're sitting down trying to visualize and meditate, and all of a sudden, your, your neck starts scratching or itching. You know? Steph, Steph Curry starts shooting three pointers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Early on in my practice, I'm, I'm sitting down in my meditation, and all of a sudden, I see somebody jacking up threes. <laughs> All these interference patterns right, right. come running into your consciousness. Right. You know what I mean? But in the video, that particular entity who's talking, and mind you, they, he was really making a play between objective world, subjective yeah, world, because yeah, he would right. flash in and out of the two. Right. right. He would go into this dark place. And so his teacher, right, was telling him, You've excelled. We leave you alone. We're going to leave you alone. Go do your thing now. Right? So. 
Right. But, but yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it starts off with, you know, some very interesting questions because this shit is all about light at the right. end of the day. Right. And he's asking, why do you love? And that's a very freaking good question, man, because I'm going to tell you something, man. We don't know love. I I'll give a quick timeline of history where I know we don't know love. Right. I'm telling you, 1600 to 1865 is slavery. 1865 to 1968 to the death of Martin Luther King is a civil rights era from 1968 to right now. We in the Rodney King slash Eric Gardner slash Mike Brown, Mike Brown Freddie Gray, Gray era. Right. You don't know love because it has been too much trauma. That has been the mainstream focus. You're just now getting to a point of love. So I'm going to dare interject and say some radical ass shit right here. Typical Aquarian. What you need to question is how did the LGBT challenge the Supreme Court and say, this is love. We got a right to get married. And the Supreme Court said, well, damn it. We think you're absolutely right in principle of what you're saying. We not in the laws of sexual reproduction. I'm not talking about that. In the principle of what you're saying by love standard, you're right. They win. And on June 26, when was that? 2015, when they win, a damn rainbow appears over Washington, D.C. You better really, really, really question that shit. And then you better question and ask another question is, what if your dysfunctional ass heterosexual relationships has created some type of morphism to say, you know what? We need a new paradigm to come into place to start digging at the juggernaut that we call the old standard of suppression, i.e. the United States government, if you want to see it in that particular way, just to start eroding. This thing is chess and not to belittle anybody, but you got pawns on the board that's going to go up first, the infantry. In the military, we call them grunts when you're a Marine. who ya? Them niggas go first. They don't care. Charge! Them niggas is running and they don't care and they taking a the bullet. And then you got snipers. And then you got SEALs who will come in and sneak in and get out of the situation. So when it comes to this place down here, there are many different levels. OK, so anyway, you better question this aspect of love because we don't know it. And we better get to a place where we can really start to express that. And we are we starting to get there. Like I got to I got to salute the Kevin Hart's of the world, the DJ Khaled's of the world, even DJ Envy of the world. I, I got to salute those who I believe is radiating a certain frequency of love and positive energy. And we're just now starting to get to that point. And that's what we got to embrace. And that's what the whole message was. The, the whole message of his struggle was why do you hate after you ask why do you love why do you hate okay you must show the world how to love now i'll say this and i come off of it it is a fact that in his video because it was talking about light and we all we got to understand this and i don't it's so simple i was talking to my class today about it that we are light heartbeat brainwave light you go unconscious mlms come shock paddles charge Boom, induce electricity in you to see if we can get that node in your heart to start pumping that electricity again. No light, you die. Rub your feet on carpet, touch something, metal, a person. Oh, static. Okay, you convey electricity. You are light manifest. Light is every single thing in creation. Everything is light. A piece of dookie is light. Everything <laughs> is light. I have you have to understand that everything is light. Everything, man. Okay, everything is an intelligence. Okay, so it's energy, it's consciousness, and that's what I mean by that. So this everything is light. Well, at the end of the video, brother XX went into the white light. Now I can only share my experiences, and I'll give you a reference because I have physical experience, and I'll give you an amazing story in which you need to understand the power of the mind in which you understand the power of love as well. So I'll give you my story first. I've been suspended in the state of white light on three occasions, three different times I've been in the infinite, I mean, infinite bliss of white light. If you start studying what's called NDE, near death experiences, you will hear people talk about this infinite white light that was so freaking peaceful. And all it can sounds like is 
really an angelic choir is singing. It's infinite bliss. OK, been there three occasions. Now, there's a story by a woman by the name of Anita Moore Johnny. Look her up on YouTube. Amazing freaking story. Here it is, a woman on her deathbed in a coma, tumors the size of grapefruits all over her body. The doctor is saying it's a wrap. Everybody get your affairs together. She will be dead in the morning. OK, she's in a suspended state of consciousness. And somehow, because you got to remember, consciousness is non-local. It's everywhere. Somehow she can see her brother traveling from the Middle East on an airplane trying to get to her. She can see everybody in all of her life. And these people are in different places in different times. She even hears the conversation that the doctor is having with her husband down the hall. OK, who's telling her husband it's a wrap. So while she's in this state of consciousness, she's given a choice. I think believe her father's on that side. You can come back into this reality and you can spread love and tell people about the infinite wisdom and love and compassion that exists. If you choose to come back. She chose to come back. Soon as she come back. She starts to tell conversations that she had. And do remind me, come behind me when I finish my point about the shoes on the roof. Um, she talks about these conversations that she heard and the doctor is freaking out like it's impossible for her to have heard that that was down the hallway and whatnot. And her tumors, as she get out the hospital, her tumors miraculously go bye bye, shrink. And her whole body was filled with these things gone and now she's telling this story now i'm gonna tell you where they messed up with brother xxx jew tell you where they messed up at they weren't supposed to bury the nigga b uh -huh. they should have did see see over here we got a problem people die you cry rightfully so but you do it with a negative emotion and you got to stop that shit you got to. And I'm telling you, I held a dead daughter and got pictures of one. Damn it. So when I speak from this place on high, I'm speaking from a place that you may not have the experience of having. I'm not talking about an abortion. I'm not talking about a mixed carriage in the toilet. I'm talking about holding a dead daughter. With light in the picture, which is her soul. So I'm coming from a different place of experience to tell you the truth about this light. OK, now. What we they should have did was raise that positive energy up with the intention on making his ass rise again like he was the living cross. And he would have did it because clearly he had the intelligence, the mental acumen. What did he say? And what, what do Eclipse say? You must understand the power of your mind. That's and right. When he said that in the movie to himself. He started to do telekinesis, That's which right. now he started whipping his lower self just by waving his hand. So he was already on the mental Aquarius, mental, the mind, the air sign. He was already on the mental frequency of such power. You was not to bury this nigga. You were supposed to raise the energy up in ceremony and see if the nigga was going to come back to life. Because there are many stories that are documented and classified, especially amongst spiritual saints and masters who can leave their body and, quote unquote, be dead. All vitals and signs are off and come back into that thing. Nothing is impossible in this reality. I rest my case, man. Man. Hey, man. That's that priesthood shit, bro. I don't know if they ready for that shit to beer. Fuck it. But look, I know. But look. So you wanted me to reference the shoes on the, the roof. Shoes. It was a, um, right. it was a case. And and let me tell y'all something. I want to make this point. Cause see, I strive on this information. I got the case studies, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't making this shit up like out of a new age book or something. I'm talking about Nature Magazine, you know, 
Neuron Magazine, all the heavy hitters. See, these people study this shit. That's right. While we just fucking around. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so it was um it was a it was a gentleman, he was on it deathbed, flatline, and you know, they was putting the paddle on him, shocking him, trying to bring him back. And he eventually came back, but this was his story. He said he saw his body lying on the operating table as he ascended up toward the roof of the hospital. Okay? He said as his consciousness was floating up out of the hospital, he saw a pair of red sneakers on the hospital roof. When he finally was brought back to and he was telling the doctors his story, they had maintenance and the janitors go on the roof of the hospital just to check it out. Lo and behold, there is a pair of red sneakers on the roof. That's right. Now, you cannot write that off. You just can't do it. I don't care how much logical shit that I don't then that's okay. But when stuff like that happened, I'm inclined to do the research to find out what the hell is it about our consciousness that's able to do that. Right. And how can we use that while we're still in these bodies? That's the question. Now, my partner mentioned white light. Let me tell y'all about this white light. I just did a presentation a couple weeks back called Quantum Supplications with the Saints and Masters. Let me, let me tell y'all. There's noise that exists in these different spectrums of light. When a signal is trying to be broadcast, sent and or received, it has to battle through this noise that exists in these spectrums of light. White light, right? White light or what they may call white noise is an amplifier so that your signal can reach its destination without being bombarded and ultimately defeated by a bunch of noise that exists in these spectrums. So in these near-death experiences, and like Triple X going into this white light, it's a reason that that becomes a reoccurring pattern, a reoccurring theme, because inside of our subconscious mind, we already know what the white light is for. It's so that we can merge with the signal and the message right. of the infinite. You see? Hold on, brother. So, huh? Brother? God is a white light, brother. Oh man, that's gonna, that's, gonna piss, that's boy, that's gonna piss some people off. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Yeah, listen, the beer. You know what happens if you know? I, listen, I don't even want to. I don't want to talk bad about nobody today, man. I'm trying to get away from that. You know what I'm saying? But, but, um, you know, we just gotta face it, man. You know, it's not. Science ain't got nothing to do. Well, I ain't gonna say ain't got nothing to do with skin color because it does. Biology is science, you know, all that is still science. But at the function. end of the day, That's right. function. I'm That's talking right. about the function of a thing, right? And that stands on its own. So, but um, but yeah, man. Yeah. So 
Yeah. We got to be mindful of these things. All you rappers, all you young rappers, even some of y'all old school rappers, do not do that unless you want to die. That's the message from the priesthood. Yeah, you, you, that's, a, that's, uh, a, that's a guaranteed uh, uh, prescription. That's a, you, are, you are guaranteeing yourself an early exit up out of here if you put that type of imagery in your art. All right? That's right. And, 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 and Jay, what Jay say? You know, y'all, you know, y'all kill X and Zimmerman still walk in the streets. Is, Done. The streets Done. is dead. And Done. I get it. I get it, but I'm gonna listen. And Jay, that's my favorite. It's my man, right? But the nigga and the niggas who shot X, they just played their part in the movie that he created. Mm. See, that's a higher level mm. of intelligence, and it's gonna. It sounds like so. You're justifying him shooting, shooting him. Mm. That just means you have not fully wrapped your mind around the cause. That's all that means. Yeah. So you still just battling the effects. You just battling the symptoms. You know what I mean? But you can't do that. You can't do that. Because you go pull in all of these extras to play their role in the movie. And then when the you know, and, and who, who had that line in one of them raps? And life is not a movie. The camera's always rolling. Right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's always rolling. Always. And so when you understand that, you have to be, you have to be mindful, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... <laughs> You know, shout out to all the Triple X fans, man. We just thought we would come through and decode the video for you on the quantum tip. Yeah. yeah on the yeah. quantum tip so that yeah. you can understand and get a higher level of interpretation of what you're looking at versus just saying, damn, that's weird. He made that video and then look what happened to him. Because that's yeah. the general response from 90 plus percent of the population. Right. But we're here to tell you why it happened how it happened, and the mechanics behind it. And right. we're speaking from experience, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We, this not no theory anymore for us. Yeah. You know, and we've just taken it upon ourselves to help the common folk. The, you know, the regular Joe Blow, because that's who needed the most. To be right. honest. All day, man. All day. You know, I, I tell people, man, in th this journey of life is amazing. You know what I mean? I Like I was a peewee, like three, four years old. My mother's grandmother was dying in the hospital. She requested that I come in there and you know, she like you, you see that light. And I'm like, yep, I see a light. It was a white light in the corner. I physically don't recall this light right now. Memories faded. Um, it's like you see it. And I'm saying, yeah. And she patted my hand and she told my mom, man, that she will always be with me, bro. Like th these kind of things is very real. And I, I, I can only again, we speak from experience, man. When you go back and you look at this video, his last message was a note. People change, things change. And so I did. As long as the outcome is good for myself and family i'm not complaining this is his last message all right well one of his last messages and it's interesting because it was two pieces of paper and obviously one of the papers looked like a heart and the other one looks like the liver if you know what the liver looks like i know you caught the heart but i bet you didn't catch the liver which is very very important when we understanding um who you are and and Ooh. why you connected to that liver exactly Ooh. so he says people change things change and so i did as long as the outcome is good for myself and family i'm not complaining listen folks stop complaining the only imagery you should be projecting is your future the only conversation you should be having is your future Pay attention to the things that you complain about and try to stop it in the act, in the moment because you got to cut that what we call synaptic channel, which is really a brain brain cells is doing that shit. Stop it. You have to interrupt it. 
and I don't care if you develop. We call them cut words. Like in a movie, you fuck up. The director says cut. Do cut. it. Over. Right. So you got to do the same thing here. And then this other message on the heart. This was funny as hell, right? He was like, oh, oh, and I want her love all to myself. Loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> and so he goes through this big sense of freedom, but he comes back and he's like, yo, I still want that love. Now, two more things and I'm done with it, man. It's interesting because in the opening of the video, this thing is about love. And it's, this is a song about being sad over a woman. And they're asking, why do you love? Why do you hate? And then and the other questions I got down was, what's your blood type? And what is your birth time? And, and birthday time and, time place. and place. Now yeah, right. I'm gonna tell you this: there is only one craft that exists that wants to know your birthday, time of birth, and location of birth. And that's the craft that when YouTube see this video, it's right here on this channel, Hip Hop Astrology TV. It's the right. only craft that wants to know your birthday your time of birth and your location of birth. That's Let's right. See, I start talking about how you got to understand something because it's, it's, there's only four types of relationships. And I'm going to come off with this four types of relationships. Okay. You can see this inside of your heart because you have, because remember XX is, is talking about love must come into the world and then you're people who say, I love you from my heart. I don't love you from no other place. I love you from my heart. That, that's the norm that we accepted that. No problem. But when you study the biology of the heart, then you start to see, well, wait a minute. This thing has what's called four chambers. OK, this is a fact. Got four chambers. Your brain has four lobes. He asks, what's your blood type? How many you have? Four, A, B, A, B and O, four blood types. When you get inside of the blood and hemoglobin, you will find out that it is basically four schematics for four templates for hemoglobin to exist. OK, look into it. You're going to see it. All right. So this four replicates itself in a miraculous way inside of your biology and function. What is the ultimate expression of a family? Daddy, mommy, son, daughter. Also known as the Tetra for Grammaton, the sacred name of the creator in the Bible, the four letters, Yod, He, Va, He. OK, so this four is what you see, DJ Khaled and Puff now, the four, the four. Right. So it's always going to come back and play itself through culture. So there are only four types of relationships when you understand your blood type and when you understand how you're made. Now, on the energetic side, you have to know what it looks like. OK, and I'm going to give you these four channels because I I figured this out when I'm just dealing in this craft. Now, cosmic energies, there's some positive energy. There's some negative energy out here in the cosmos. We showed in the first video of Brother X Extension that when he got shot, Mars is in Aquarius right now in the sky, exactly where the sun was when he was shot. And Mars represents gunshots and bullets. So you can't do you can you damn sure can't project death energy at the same time that the that that planet is in and, the same region of space. And, Mar do that. and Mars is the burglar. And That's he right. Said he was he was being robbed. That's right. That's right. Come stick you up. That's a stick up kid in the cosmos. That nigga Mars. So now. <clears throat> Was that with that man? Um, so now you got these positive forces and negative forces, cosmically speaking. This is a fact. You got feminine forces in, in the cosmos and you got masculine forces in the cosmos. OK, now in the compatibility system that I develop and because I understand how this law work and I know how man is made. Man and woman both have male and female energy. Both of us have male and female. I always say it ain't hard. You come from your mom and your daddy. You got glands in you that were female. If you were a man, they just real dormant and vice versa for a woman. So if you got two energies from your mama and your daddy, you and he got two energy, the maximum ways that y'all can interact is four. Very important to understand that. So it'd be her female energy that's coalescing with your female energy. All right. I can see this cosmically male energy to male energy, 
female energy, her female energy to your male energy, and vice then it's a role reversal, her male energy to your female energy. And you still have to determine are these four connections either positive or negative. So a female relationship, what I call channel one, a yin relationship, this is a very loving, soothing relationship. I just did a video on this. Um, and it's in the middle of that. What video what was that last video we just did? We, we talked about Irv Gotti and I mean, not Irv, Yo Gotti and Angela Simmons. And we talked about uh, Dame Dash, the Dame Dash Lee Daniel shit. I, I slipped it in there. And so inside that video, I'm talking about, listen, a yin relationship is a feminine relationship is about emotional connections. It's very soft. It's loving. It's walks in the park. It's picnics. It's waterfalls. It's it's an intimate connection. It's DJ Envy and his family. It's a very feminine tone, pretty light skinned family. Like, and I'm not knocking nobody. I'm just saying when you look at Envy, Envy is not a macho tough guy. That's not his persona. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right. What I'm saying is I'm looking at energy. So his energy is very soft, loving, caring, nurturing. Right. So that's the female quality. Then you got the yang quality, masculine quality in relationships. This is sort of like Gucci Man and Keisha Kayor. They on stage concerts. They riding bikes, working out. He's wearing her waisty racer when he's working out. It has to physically have an outlet to go hard and sweat. So you need to have activities. You need to have goals. When this energy is negative, you're going to fight because yang energy needs a action action. You're going to fight. OK, so then you have the female to male energy that kind of matches the heterosexual relationship paradigm or relationships that's still predominant today and whatnot. So it's just a mixture of the two energies. But then that last channel was a role reversal, ladies and gentlemen. And some of y'all ladies and even some of y'all brothers can understand this when it's a role reversal, especially if it's negative energy. She's more active. And she sees the man as, oh, this nigga ain't going to be staying home playing video games all day while I'm at work. And he's smoking weed and shit, chilling. He better get his ass up and go somewhere. And he's saying, man, this, she better go on somewhere. She ain't my mama. Who the she thinks she is? So you feel like the other one is a little kid when it's a role reversal. You feel me? It can be positive when it's positive. It's she's a little bit more assertive and she's more like what I would call an entrepreneur. So she got a little bit more of that yang energy going and he's a little bit more nurturing. And I show the dynamic of love can be seen Netflix binge out on army wives. I watched it years ago and I said, God damn it. They hit it on the head. They're talking about the different type of relationships, a female type of relationship, a balanced relationship, a special unit when it's balanced and whatnot. And then when it's, you know, when it's extreme imbalance, where it's all the way on one side, but the role reversal came in the black relationship. The only black relationships um, on army wives was Joan who was in the uh, military and she wanted to do, you know, she wanted to be a colonel. She was a colonel and she wanted to keep ascending up the military um, hierarchy. So she really went with the family. The baby would cry and went and go to her when she came home. And the dad who was a stay home dad and psychiatrist. So he could stay home. He was walking around with the, what's that thing, Jew, where they strap it on and they strap the baby like a kangaroo on his chest and stuff. So he's uh -huh. walking home. He's at home with the baby playing what I call the dummy role, the dad, that's a mom. So he's playing this dummy role. Role, and the wife is more of the masculine role playing the military role. So this shit is very real. And this is why our love life is twisted and upside down, because love is really a science. It is. And we don't take the time out to honor and try to figure out what it, what it is that we want and try to. And, and, and let me be clear. You do not have to know this science to be productive. Let me be very clear, because I always say my grandparents was married for over 50 years to death, did them apart to my grandma broke up out of here. My granddad in his 90s and he right now pushed the highway, Joe. He still hit the road from the O all the way to Tennessee to go kick it with his main new squeeze now. So listen, you can have you can have a functional relationship as long as you have an agreement. The thing is, for those of you that's listening, you know that it is more than meets the eye. You know that there is some um, invisible spiritual tone that denotes what's going on. We have to come in. If you want to come in contact with that, that's what we need to be looking at so we can best see how we can facilitate that. All right. So, again, man, we just want to thank you all for coming through, rocking with us. Um, me personally, I'm at over uh, when this science, my astrology coach dot com. Call us, man. Hit us up, man. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, man. Um, pretty much it, man. Um, you want to get on this quantum science that we dropping? Theimaginationguru.com. 
hit up YouTube, man. A punch in Minister Jew, Noble and Pooh. We yeah. got a plethora of videos where we dropping none but flames. We got some classics in the YouTube uh, world on Brother Rich's uh, page specifically, Black Magic 363, Minister Jew, Noble and Pooh. We got some bangers over there, man, um, where we dropped a lot of heat on this subject matter over the last couple of years if you guys trying to get acquainted with what it is that we teach. And then if you need some coaching, um, we got you on that too, man. Theimaginationguru.com. Click on the memberships tab, quantum imaging, quantum scriptures. We got two memberships. Um, depending upon which one floats your boat, you take your pick. Um, but that's what it is, man. Oh, uh, got an event coming up August 5th called Less Stress, More Quantum. Right? We're going to be talking about some of the information we went over today. Uh, specifically dealing with some of these structures in your brain and how stress, and you probably heard this, you know, everywhere because oh, stress is the number one killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. Great. Yeah. Well, not great, but we know it. It's common knowledge, right? But nope. We had to take a deeper look at the structure in your brain that is being affected by the stress and why that same structure is the structure that taps you into the quantum field via inner imagery, subjective imagery, subconscious repetition. You will come to find out that the trauma and the stress has put a lot of people in a position where their creativity is now being hindered because of stress from relationships, stress from jobs, stress from stuff that happened 300 years ago that you weren't even a part of, but you're still deciding to stress over it, right? Mm -hmm. So but what we're going to show you in this webinar is how to program your sales from the inside out. And we've got a plethora of case studies to support it so that you can see it, you can read it, you can know where to go to study this information. And then we're going to give out techniques to apply to the said situation, which is where we're really good at. It's creating yeah. uh, principles and techniques according to principles at play so that you can maximize your potential from the inside out. So August 5th, Less Stress, More Quantum webinar. Get to the website right now, theimaginationguru.com. Click on the Shops tab. You'll scroll down to Webinars. Right now it's on sale. It'll be on sale for the first couple weeks, and then it's going to go back to its original price. So if you're serious about learning this information, I would suggest you get over that now while you got a deal and opportunity to take advantage of some of this information that we're sharing. Um, yeah. Call us, man. 877-345-3797 uh, is the business line for Imagination Guru. Um, if you're interested in getting some one-on-one -on -one counseling or coaching, um, to expand your business, whatever it is you may be doing, uh, hit me up and uh, definitely can help you out in that regard. Yeah, man. You almost made me forget, man. Chain of events, man. Dick, get over there. August the 5th, next week, Sunday, literally seven days from now, the 8th, the Millionaire Math Deal Analyzer Study Group. Man, listen, we, we kicked the science, but we also decided to um, get real physical and practical. And we started investing in real estate that this get no realer than that. So we started investing in real estate, flipping properties right now. So we got a class coming up next week was going to be a four week class, bare minimum four weeks starting next week called the millionaire math deal analyzer study group. I'm going to show you how to analyze apartment deals and how to set up the cash flow on it and show you how we can literally, if you can't do it by yourself, if you may not be in that position, I can show you how we can collectively get there. And that's what we doing, man. So you will see that dead on the landing page at myastrologycoach.com on the front page. You will see it. Get inside of this thing because, listen, man, they say money won't make you happy, but I can promise you this. Being broke ain't going to make you no happier. OK, so let's cut the bull crap and, and let's get to it. And listen, man, we got two more things going on. August the 2nd through the 5th. If you can make it to Myrtle Beach, you want a one on one. You know what I mean? Pull up on me. I'm going to be in Myrtle Beach. I got some business to handle down there. I'm going to have a three day thing for you. It's limited to only a few people that really talk business. Or if you want to talk spirituality, we can. We're going to do definitely do some sunrise meditations on the beach. 
and whatnot um wine tasting and we really just gonna iron out some of your business plans man because that's my thing entrepreneurship is my shit i love that all right so um myrtle beach 101 you will see it on the website myastrologycoach.com go to the shop tab i'm sorry go to the events tab and you will see retreats just click on that and then in september we got like one spot left one we got three two air mattresses and one bed so if you come in to this mansion party that we have in in fort lauderdale for the weekend of the equinox what is that september the 21st 22nd 23rd up in that area that weekend right there friday is check-in we having a mansion party where we talking business the entire weekend it's gonna be phenomenal rolling down to miami we're going to dj college finger licking joint i'm gonna take you over to the number one sales training program in the world to help you get your money right and hopefully you can get some to see see what it's like to learn how to make deals for my people that's entrepreneurs or people who you know are in sales and i believe everything is a sale you got to sell yourself to a person if you want to be with them so everything is a damn sale but september man we in fort lauderdale if you come in come to the mansion party come kick it with us man myastrologycoach.com events and you're going to see retreats man and other than that, man, I'm out, man. You good? We straight? We straight. Man, all right, to the next time. Peace. Peace. Prophecy is what we all have to go by now.